We're in northern Iowa for today's show on Clear Lake. And this lake is getting more and more attention for I think it was for a tempered bass species that was introduced in the 1930s. The yellow bass were making this lake famous. Might be considered an invasive species, but they're so numerous, they always seem to want to bite, they fight hard, they're excellent eating fish, and most of all, people can harvest these fish, and that takes more pressure off of the crappies and bluegills that are also on the lake, but it's a phenomenal ice fishing opportunity. These fish are just running up and down these big sand flats. Seven, eight feet of water, they're just roaming like packs, and you just move around until you find them, and once you find them, it's like a cyclone below you. The action can be incredible. There's a triple. <laughs> we got I like all, that. All three of us have one on, huh? Yeah, these fish are just stacked in here. Oh. Like a storm of yellow bass. Just a tremendous ice fishing opportunity if you live in this part of the world here in Northern Iowa. And you know what? People are coming from a lot further away to experience this because it's just a neat, neat ice fishing opportunity that we're going to show you on today's show. So right now, basically what we're doing is we're covering out this, uh, covering this mud flat here, and uh, we're just off the first break. We got a big sandbar that comes out to the west of us, and we're just off to the bottom. We're in about nine foot of water. We're just gonna drill out this area here, see if we can find a nice school. So what happened is we just, just got done drilling a nice series of holes here. We started out a little deeper, uh, didn't mark too many fish, and uh, drilled in towards shore, and drilled probably about 15 to 20 holes, maybe eight to 10 long, and then go over and come right back the other way. Hunter here just followed me right along, and uh, as you can see, he found a pretty hot hole. Jason's got one on right now, so hopefully we can get him dialed in a little bit right here. <laughs> A little bit better one. There, look at that. These fish are, they fight hard. Big yellow bass is nine inches, 10 inches, but you know, you can catch hundreds of them, and they're just such a hard fighting fish. You know, you use three pound test, ultralight rod, you're gonna have a lot of fun. You're gonna, if you wanna keep fish to eat, they're a great eating fish. Oh, that fish. Ah, man. That good old tug, Jason, just never gets old. It doesn't. I tell you what, no matter what the size, they all fight good. You know, being a part of that bass family, even white bass, stripers, all that stuff. Yeah, tempered bass are battlers. It's like they've got a fifth gear. There's one good thing about these yellows, I tell you what, they got a lot of meat on them. You know, compared to an average bluegill or, uh, or even like this average yellow bass, you can tell they're nice and thick. They got the nice white flaky meat, very, very good eating. And uh, you will actually get probably more meat per inch on a yellow bass than you will a bluegill. So give them a try, man, they're, they're really enjoyable. Loved it. Oh, these are pretty fish.
you can catch these fish, I think, on just about anything. When you land on them, they're like piranhas, but we're using the clam tackle speed spoons. The reason we chose to use this particular lure is it just drops down fast. So it's got a lot of flash for pulling fish in, and once you get on fish, you're just back down on those fish in an instant. In a lot of cases, when we're running and gunning like this, where we combine the elements of spoon with finesse, and for perch, white bass, yellow bass, even bluegills and crappies, these spoons with the dropper chains are a lot of times underrated, but they can be very effective. Hey, what they fight good. <laughs> Love it. They are thick fish. Here comes one. Got him back there. Got a couple coming in. Yep. There we go. All right. You marking any fish, Jason? No, I'm gonna drill some holes yeah. over by you. Yep. Teamwork really pays for these yellow bass, doesn't it? Yeah, and you really don't have to be afraid of getting too close. I mean, if we're on them. Dandy. You know, Jason, once I got a hot hole going and all of a sudden they disappear, I like to drill one in each direction and kind of surround the one we are in and, and usually you can just kind of pattern them and start to follow them that way. So hopefully this way we'll be able to track them and stay on top of them. Yeah, these fish are moving. You got them there? One okay. or two. Here they come. Well, they got them here. There he is. This yellow bass phenomenon is something incredible, isn't it? I tell you what, you can see it in my face. It, uh, it, it definitely puts a smile on my face to see people that are actually starting to recognize the species. Oh, yellow wow. bass, I mean, they're an awesome fish. There's no limit. There's plenty of them for everybody to go yeah. around, and uh, they're really, really growing fast. We're seeing a lot more. People come from all over the Midwest to target these fish. It's pretty exciting stuff.